And it's Mexican Events, and today I have two packages from Macari. Once again, Bratz and Mycene. I can't stop. Um, the total for like these two purchases was genuinely less than $50 though, so I consider that a steal. Oh, well, the Bratz fell, so looks like we're gonna go for the Mycene first. So this is in a Malto Meal Fortified Creamy Hot Wheat Cereal Container. <laughs> All right. Let's get this box open. Uh, if we can figure out how to do so, I mean, uh, this doll, realistic, I mean, I really wanted this doll, but it's extra exciting because she's the last one I need to complete one of my sets. So now I finally have another complete set from my scene, which is super cool. Um, technically, if you want to be like, super picky. I'm missing like one of this doll's accessories, so my set isn't complete, but I don't care. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, this is so exciting! So this is Rebel Style Madison. Oh, and she's so pretty. Yes, yeah, so by ridiculous luck, she just came up on Mercari. She was honestly kind of expensive for an out-of-box doll, but I really want more Madison dolls in my collection. This, in my opinion, is the best doll in Rebel Style, and it's being confirmed by her being in front of me. I believe she's only missing her purse and her necklace. I could be wrong, though. And she looks, like, in perfect condition, aside from that. Her hair definitely needs a, a quick conditioning. She's so pretty. Her eyes seem to be slightly misplaced, but I don't honestly mind. Oh, her bracelet just fell off. That's okay, we'll find it after the video. <laughs> um, she's so pretty. I really think Madison like pops in purple, especially with this purple lipstick that matches. And uh, in my opinion, her, her dress is the cutest from this line. You know what I mean? Um, and now I have a full Rebel Style set and she is adorable. So I think this doll was like I, I sent an offer in one, so I think I paid like 25 bucks for this doll, I can't recall. To be honest with you, because I just spend the money that I have in Mercari. It doesn't have to come out of my bank or my PayPal or anything, so it's really spectacular. I don't know, I love Mercari. Um, but yeah, here she is. Love her. Is one of the other ones over here right now? No. I already put the other ones on the shelf, I guess. I have a couple of Mycene dolls over here, though, from other videos. but. Yeah, there's my new Madison doll. <laughs> All right, next is the Bratz box that fell. So I really like the box that they used. It's like really sleek and pretty. Not that that matters. <laughs> and we are just gonna cut the tape and get into it. Yes. Um, if we can, let's see. Oh, perfect, look at that. So, this, I ordered a while ago actually, it took a, it took its sweet time coming in and this lot's kind of perfect for me and let me show you why. So first off, this is one that I like vaguely wanted but she's not the reason I bought the lot but I am excited to have her. This is the Play Sports Extreme Snowboarding, I think it was called, Lily. So this is my second Lily doll. I have Sweetheart Lily already and I honestly, I think Lily's really pretty. I like her um, and both of her dolls are gorgeous. And this doll's wearing her full little snowboarding suit, which is perfect because that means she can go right on display. Also, her hair is amazingly soft. I'm probably going to shampoo and condition it, though, just because it's a little bit staticky. But wow, her face is gorgeous. <laughs> There's Play Sports Extreme Lily. Next we have, I don't know who this one is. Ooh, is this the Style It Jade? No. Oh, this is, I think this is Express It Chloe. I honestly don't know. This is a double for me. But interestingly enough, I'm not sure whose skirt this is, I won't lie. But this is all Express It Sasha's stuff. Um, not 100% on the boots. I know they go to some Express It doll, though. Um, but yeah, I already have this doll, but I believe I only have one right now. What are you doing, buddy? We're messing with that stuff. <laughs> um... Gosh, all of them have such good, like, great condition hair. Uh, I already have this doll, but I need another doll to wear her second outfit, so. Oh, Ronaldo's already gotten into one of the boxes, so. 
She's still very pretty. This one's honestly in way better condition than mine too, so. All right, next. I swear I didn't see who it was. Um, oh, is this, uh, this is Forever Diamonds Chloe minus her shirt. Yes. Okay, so Forever Diamonds is one of the most, like one of the lines I want to complete the most because other than I really want Wintertime Wonderland Sasha and Formal Funk Sasha, I have both of their outfits. I actually have both of Formal Funk Sasha's outfits and like one and a half of Wintertime Wonderland. Where are the dolls? Bring them home. But Forever Diamonds is one of those lines I really want to complete because one of the only dolls I had as a kid was a Forever Diamonds doll. I had Forever Diamonds Fianna. Um, and I, I really love Forever Diamonds. It's just like so iconic brats to me because that's what I had. Um, so this Chloe, as you can see, has her shoes and her pants, but does not have her shirt. But if you remember from, I don't think I made a video. I did not make a video when I got the dolls and her shirt, but I did show it in my collection video. My Tokyo A Go Go Chloe right now is wearing the shirt that goes to Forever Diamonds Chloe. So yay. So I have um, as complete as I need her to be a Forever Diamonds Chloe doll. And she's actually like really pretty, gosh really gorgeous screening on her um is it just that she have a, has a heavy ponytail no this is just a straight up wobbly head that's unfortunate but it's okay not a big deal um if it bugs me i can just rebody her i really like this ponytail i'm glad it's still in the original style and it's super soft too this seller must have taken great care of these dolls which is yay for me all right in the last one it's not really a guess it's style at jade um this is a doll that's been eluding me like i <laughs> i have several of her pieces but not her and I really like, well, I thought I really liked her just from looking at pictures online. I was getting very envious, but wow. Okay, first of all, Kanekalon, I love. Although it's hard to restore for me. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but it doesn't need restored. It's perfect. I love her outfit. She's got a um, torn denim vest with little faux buttons on it, which is such a cute extra detail. Really appreciate that. And I, I, I'm not sure if these shoes are hers, but I already have them if they are hers, so. <laughs> and then this little um, yellow plaid, yeah, plaid, <laughs> yellow, blue, and red plaid skirt with a matching headband, which is adorable. And then under her little vest, she has a, like a torn tank top. It's not, it's not, it's not hemmed, but it is. Like you can see that there's, um, a protecting stitch to make sure it doesn't rip too much, which is great. And it's got this um, ironed on safety pin design, which is adorable, really nice. I love that Bratz, even when they make distressed pieces, they never took like, I mean, other than with my pampered pups, Yasmin, I guess, they never took the, the easy way. They never took the cheap way, the lazy way. They always went above and beyond with the fashions and that's so cool. Wow, this hair, it's black with like light brown streaks in it, which is very pretty. It gives a really nice effect. And then her bangs need help sitting down, but I like them. <laughs> and of course the little braids coming out the front are also adorable. It seems like she's got like an asymmetrical style with them. One is right on the bang and two of them are over here by her ear. Her makeup's also really cool. Sorry, I'm like going over this doll cause I'm just, wow, she's so pretty. Look at that makeup. I love that bright, red lips so pretty and I'm glad to have her because I have quite a bit of stylet but not Jade <laughs> um and Miss Chloe and another Miss Chloe and then of course the sports Lily and my girl Madison I'm very happy with these dolls they're beautiful and I'm happy very happy to add them to my collection None of this was a mystery, huh? I'm sorry, usually I'm like, ooh, what's this? <gasps> Whoa, I didn't think I was getting this, but like, I usually don't buy small lots like this, but when they're just perfect, like this is a doll I just really wanted at the time and she turned up. And then with these ones, there were three dolls in this lot that I needed and Forever Diamonds Chloe seems like she was faded for me because she doesn't have her shirt, but I already have her shirt, so it's pretty cool. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Ah. Uh, let me know if you've ever just found a doll right when you were looking for her for like a price, like a good price and let me know who it was. It happens quite a bit for me, honestly. Like I'll just be, like I just finished, or I just got Rebel Style Chloe like maybe a week ago. Chloe? <laughs> Rebel Style um, Barbie. Was Barbie the one that I got last? 
I just got the other two like not that long ago and I was like, dang, I really want Madison. She's so pretty. I love her dress. Ah, oh, it's gonna be such a pain to get her. And then she just turned up in a condition that's perfectly fine for me at a price I was willing to pay on Mercari like not that long later. Great. <laughs> and Forever Diamonds Chloe, I wouldn't have bought this lot had it not been for her, honestly. That was just so convenient. I'm not opposed to having an extra shirt for her, obviously, but like why pay a premium for one with a shirt when you can get one without a shirt on it? <laughs> this is kind of a look though, like full glam. I honestly, this is a weird thing to say, but like I love jeans and no, like jeans and topless look. Every time I'm getting dressed in the mirror, I'm like. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching, bye. <laughs>